I'm currently living in Ottawa and studying at University of Ottawa. Hello everybody, I hope you're doing okay. So, welcome back to my channel, my name is Leticia Santos, for those who don't know me yet. And that's the place where I share most part of my experiences, living in Canada, studying in Canada, and about my life, how to learn new languages. I speak Portuguese as my first language and French as my second and just like English is my third language. I don't even think English is my third language, but okay, let's do it. And I'll be doing this video fully in English. If you don't speak English as your first language, you will have the chance to practice. I will have the chance to practice as well. And yeah, I think that's all. But the today's video topic is about experiences living in Canada and specifically studying in Canada. I'm currently living in Ottawa and studying at University of Ottawa. I'm taking courses in English and in Spanish. That's because my university is bilingual, my program is bilingual, everything is bilingual and I think that's an amazing opportunity for me to practice both English and French. So it's been now almost four months since I moved to Ottawa and started my university and I wanted to share with you guys some insights I had. I would compare my program in Canada with my program in Brazil but I don't think it's a fair comparison because it's like two different countries, the experience is different but uh, the programs are different as well the modalities, for example, my program at UU Ottawa, it should be a presential program, but it's not because of the pandemic, so we, they had to adapt a lot of things. While my program back in Brazil, it's completely online, I don't have even a place to go, I think. like I, There's like this place where I could go to, to have classes there, but my program is fully online, so I don't really need to go there, so they are much more prepared for online classes than my university. So the first thing I would like to share with you is about my experience studying at U Ottawa, my program. I'm taking uh, communications and the full name of my program at U Ottawa is Honors Bachelor Degree of Arts in Communications and I'm doing the French immersion. That's why I take courses in both English and French. So about my experience. When I applied for University of Ottawa, I thought I would have such an amazing experience and it doesn't mean I'm not having it. I love to study at University of Ottawa. I mean, the program is amazing. My professors are amazing. They are super smart. They are well prepared and every time when I need them, they are always there for me. So I think it's really great there. I didn't think it would be like this, but my main concern at this moment is just online classes. I mean, I know University of Ottawa has nothing to do with this because, because that's a general problem. It's not only at this university uh, because of the pandemic and everything but I when I first applied I thought I would have the, this amazing experience of studying in a university abroad such as those ones we see when we watch films so I thought that would be like a football team with um, with like lockers <laughs> whatever like anything and I was super excited. I won't lie, my university is huge. And also, it's super beautiful there. I mean, the main building looks like Harvard. <laughs> it doesn't, but for me it is. I thought the library would be like bigger, but anyways, it's good, it's good. And I thought I would have this such amazing experience, you know, like uh, going to college and taking the bus and having classes and coming back to home. I know we actually have the option to go to campus now. Uh, some weeks ago, the university sent us an email telling us that the, we would have the option to go to the campus, but I don't feel like going there because it's not everyone who's going and much part of my classes are online. So yeah, I would say that's the 
main problem i'm sure that the next semester will be different because i will choose the right classes and also there will not be this problem with uh, COVID. I mean, I, I hope, I really hope so. The second concern, I would say, I mean, I knew about it, but I was not really, really believing on it. It's the volume of assignments and term papers and research we do at university. I mean, I know that in other colleges and universities, people have to do way more than what I do. The only problem now is because like I work part time at another college and I do have this YouTube channel. I have some other responsibilities outside uh, university and I feel like we have a lot of things to do always. Like I will never have one minute of peace. <laughs> the only minute of peace I have during the, year, the school year is during the summer, which is vacation. So mm, yeah. <laughs> so we have a lot of things to do. I mean, it's great for our learning process because we ended up understanding a lot about like researches and we learn a lot about everything, about every topic the teacher asks us to look for, to search, to talk about. So I feel like my learning process at University of Ottawa, it's been it's like worthy, you know, it's really worthy. I'm learning a lot, but it's a lot of work. So if you don't have the time to do everything, so if you have like a full schedule, I would say to take less courses than five. I mean, I take five, so it's a lot. I mean, it's the average, right? But if you have a full schedule, if you you work full time or whatever, just don't take five courses because it's going to be like, kind of exhaustive and it also depends on the classes because i have classes that's like really chill and it's funny we do not have a lot of things to do but in other classes basically these classes that i ha we have to research more the thing is i'm not really concerning about it i'm just like highlighting it so if you think about like coming to canada to study here you will be okay you won't uh you won't be surprised about those topics now the positive things the pros about studying in canada so you have a lot of possibilities in here that's something about my university i love a lot and i love to share about we have so many activities we have so many learn opportunities we have so many studies group we have so many things going on and if you are the type of person who loves to interact with people, if you like to go to those programs, those events, you won't stop a minute. <laughs> I swear, there's always something going on. For example, last week, I think I went to the campus because they were having a pizza party for French immersion students. So I went there, I took two pizzas for free and it was amazing. <laughs> So we have a lot of events going on every day and I think it's nice because you end up meeting new people and kind of understanding how classes, how the academic, the student body works. So I think it's amazing. Another point I love about you Ottawa is because the campus is huge, it's like giant. I have said this before. But I just want to highlight again because it's amazing. I know I've been to U of Toronto, I've been to other universities. I know that there are like way bigger universities over there, but I just love the U Ottawa campus. I like the social sciences building. It's so beautiful. I'll try to put some photos here. I like the library, mainly the last floor. I like the last wall. I think it's nice. And at U Ottawa, we use a system like a website where we have our classes, our programs, grades called Brightspace. I don't know if every university here in Canada uses the same website, use the same platform, but U Ottawa uses it. And I think it's so nice because it's well organized and you have a really good experience it's easy to find things it's easy to find lectures and books and tasks i think it's 
great. It's great. About grades, that's a good point to talk about. I really want to do a master and a PhD after the university because of my career plans. I have to say it's not easy to have grades like higher than 90%, but it's not easy as well to have grades under 50%, which is the university average. So for you to be accepted to pass to succeed in a program, you have to have at least 50%. And I have to tell you that it's not difficult to have 50%. You just have to go to classes, pay attention, write some things down and study. That's the main point of being at a university. <laughs> I didn't have problems with grades at Uboroa at the moment. I have like a, a good GPA. Let's see at the end of the semester if I will tell the same thing. I mean, I'm at the last month of classes, but I'm still like having some assignments to do. I still have some work to do, some assignments, some exams, finals. So at the end, I will tell you if it was easy or not, okay? And I'll, I'll share with you guys my GPA. But I mean, if you do the minimum leaf work, I think it'll be okay. Don't worry. It's not the type of university if people say, oh my gosh, it's so difficult to have a good GPA. No, it's not. It's okay. You just have to study. You just have to, to do your effort. And for the next semester, I'm pretty excited to start researches. I know that uh, for masters or PhD people, people kind of pay attention if you had like extracurriculars it, and if it's researches, it's even better. So I know that's that in University of Ottawa, there is a program called Initiation à la Recherche au Premier Cycle, P-I-R-P-C. It means for you to research during your undergraduate studies. So I'm pretty interested on this. I will tr take a look and see how it works. I will give you a feedback about this after as well. So that's basically what I'm planning for the next semester to try to keep my GPA as high as I can and also to start researching. And I'm also planning to be more active on uh, universities of events because I know it's like great when you go there and you meet new people and you make new contacts you know i know it's great when you do it so i'm pretty interested on this uh, just to sum up i'm pretty excited about those next semesters which will be presentially i hope in person classes but yeah i'm like liking my experience at u ottawa i know that i haven't had my full experience that experience that i've been dreaming about but soon i will i am super excited to do so many vlogs with you at university i mean i've been doing some just like visiting and also campus tour but not like a real university vlog with in-person classes so i'm pretty excited to do it so yeah i would say that my experience here is like great I am excited for the next episode of this My Life series. And I'm pretty happy to be part of U Ottawa students. I'm happy, I'm proud of it. If you're planning to apply for U Ottawa, please go ahead, do it because you won't regret it. It's a great university, it's amazing, it's huge. I like Ottawa better than other cities in Canada. And we kind of have a liberty about being bilingual at this university because even if you are taking a program in English you have the option to do your assignments in English or in French they literally give you the opportunity to do in both languages so I think it's amazing that and I feel like I will finish my university with a good level of English and French because I will be practicing it a lot and that's all I hope you enjoyed this video that's my Instagram, so please follow me there. And here we have two options of videos. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it, comment and share if you like. And hope to see you in the next video. <laughs>